beautiful, isn't it? Oh, and it smell, that smells nice. It's delightful. What is this, just your ordinary Christmas tree, right? Wrong. This is the Chrismon tree. Chrismon tree. Uh, Chris, Mon, Chrismon. I am enjoying the odiferous emanations of the Chrismon. That's really nice. Of the Chrismon tree. Oh, Chrismon tree. Oh, Chrismon tree. Ha! Look at this. What's with all these wacky shaped ornaments on here? This one looks like a little, little teeny tiny steering wheel for a little teeny tiny car. You know what? I, yeah, I feel an episode of Chuck Knows Church coming on. Oh, guys, it smells even better in here. You gotta get in on this. Woo! Just love that fresh, evergreen smell. Am I all right? Not even close? All right. <clears throat> the word chrismon itself uh, is a combination of the words Christ and monogram. Now, it comes from the Latin phrase Christi monogramma, or translated, a monogram of Christ. In other words, uh, a Christian symbol representing Jesus Christ. Like here. Thank you. The popular chrismon, the Cairo symbol. The first two capital letters of the Greek word for Christ, which look like an X and a P. Or Christ. Then, in the 20th century, the term chrismon started to be used in a broader sense, to include a wide range of ornaments at Christmas time. And in 1957, one Miss Frances Kip Spencer came up with an even better idea. Now she's thinking, how about a different way to decorate our church's Christmas tree, huh? Something that might look nice, appropriate for the sanctuary? So, Frances started using Greek monograms like this, Cairo, representing Christ. And suddenly, decorating the tree took on a completely different look. And quickly, Francis got to adding more sophisticated ornaments, such as uh, original depictions of biblical teachings, uh, the life of Christ, or the Beatitudes. Then, Chrismon started showing up uh, at Advent and other seasons rather than just at Christmas time. You might even start seeing them, um, you know, around the house, table settings, shadow boxes, bookmarks. Uh, refrigerator magnets, keychains, uh, wedding cake toppers, who knows, the possibilities are endless, Ashley. Pretty soon we'll start seeing them at uh, football games and baby showers. <laughs> no, not baby sh showers, great, yeah. Might have been getting a little carried away. Thy leaves are green, unchanging. Anyway, if you would like to learn more about Chrismons, ask your pastor, tell them Chuck sent you. I just love it. It smells so natural. That's the thing. I love it because it's so natural. Welcome to Hollywood, folks. I feel an episode of Chuck Knows Church coming on.